Space Engineers, welcome back to High Festus Prime, Wellington 6012 here. How's everybody doing today? Hope you are all fit and well out there. Uh, yes, so, welcome back once again to the Selenia base here on the moon. And uh, yeah, if we have a bit of a look around, um, things, are, things are quite red. Uh, let's have a little bit of a fly around and I'll show you what's going on. So, this is actually my power save mode. So I have just done some stuff, uh, so if we turn the power save off, there we go. Alright, now, um, it feels like it's been a very long night, it cannot be far off being sunrise. Uh, I've forgotten to put these in several times, but here they are, some screens. So, uh, there's our ore summary, so that's whatever's in this container, our ingots, so that's what's in those two containers. Doesn't pick up the refine um, the assembler, but um, I shifted everything into those two containers. So that's where we're at uh, with that. So lots of iron, so that's good. Uh, yeah, quite a bit of silicon, which will come in useful today. Uh, components. So actually, we'll come back to those. So here we have our power summary. So as you can see, uh, rapidly decreasing. One of the biggest reasons for that are all the vents that I'm putting in. They use 100 kilowatts each. Uh, yeah, so they are um, eating, eating power. But that's alright, because we have facilities. We've got a reactor there, and we've got a hydrogen uh, engine. So what I might do is I might just put our hydrogen engine on for a quarter of an hour, and we'll see see what that sort of does so there we go five megawatts and now we're recharging in two hours but as i say the sun cannot be far away it really can't hang on let's just have a bit of a look oh well, there it is right there fantastic okay so uh yeah the the um power save mode for the base um turns off all the vents which is the the main power consumption and turns off all the lights except turns on the red emergency lighting uh coming back to our inventory so i don't know where all this stuff's gone well i know where it's gone it's um <laughs> it's gone there uh but interior plate i'm gonna need some girders so okay if i crouch maybe and just have a bit of a look up I should be able to go into production and see what I've got yeah I can sort of see 
Okay, so interior plates. Let's do a couple of thousand of them. Uh, girders, I'll do a couple of hundred of those. Bulletproof glass. I think we're going to use some of that very shortly. Large tubes, yeah, we'll do a couple hundred of those. And display. Hurt. Uh, computer, yeah, we'll just try and get up over a thousand. I know there's um, inventory managers that you can do stuff, but um, I might just do a couple hundred of those since we now have cobalt. Solar cells are right small, steel tubes, a thousand of those. Steel plate, it's all good, but construction components, to a few thousand of those. We seem to be eating them. And motors, look at that, they're just all gone. Hmm, okay, so. Detector, radio, why not? Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so uh, that will just um, do its thing for a while. Um, yeah, right. So, uh, as you saw last time, no Midiana rocket, no Aether, so the battery on the Aether is flat, therefore I cannot connect to it. Uh, I, I should have actually, I, I was going to send an adapter back with uh, um, that drop pod, so that was basically going to be um, a pair of merge blocks back to back, um, but I forgot, so yeah, because then I could have grabbed those two and that would have just been the little extension in order to use the centipede to connect, but um, never mind. Now you would have seen that the drop pod uh, had a little bit of an accident when it landed. It landed a bit heavy and it took out the... Um... Why are you bouncing around so much? Oh, it's because um, it's empty now. So what I'll do is I just very briefly unlock you. Of course it'll go down. Fix you. Back up. Uh, yes, so, there we go, all right, um, what was I saying, oh yeah, the, so, it had a bit of a hard landing, took out the, I think it's just because the landing gears were on a subgrid, they sort of, um, don't give as well, so what I've done, now, I've done this on the blueprint, so I did it here, and then I jumped into my like my prototype, what I call my prototype world. So that's just a, another map save that I've got that I use for just mucking around with stuff in creative mode and um, putting the finishing touches on my blueprints, that sort of thing. So I made this here in survival and then I blueprinted it and took it into my creative world, um, my prototype world, and just did a little bit of testing on it um, and got it right. So what it does is I've, as you can see, I've got these thrusters on here. So there's a couple of sensors. Now they are one set for 50 meters and one set for 2.5 meters or something like that, just, just right here. So basically what happens is at any time, these are stockpiled, full of hydrogen. The thrusters are turned right up, so they're thrusters right up. Um, override, thrust override is turned right up and yeah, when it, as it's coming down, it floats down and when it gets within 50 metres of the ground, these both light up and they just slow it down a little bit more so a retro thruster um, kind of like what they do on various moon and Mars landings uh, yeah, and then when it actually gets to the ground then this sensor here will trigger it to turn off and uh, yeah, so I did test it in um, survival mode on that world. I just sort of um, copied it and dropped it from a height. And uh, yeah, it came down with a little bit of a thud, but um, didn't look like anything broke or blew up. So yeah, and that was with full of, I think I had ice in it, so same weight. Um, yeah, so that's all been tested. So hopefully when this one goes back, then um, yeah, be all good. Right, um, and so... Uh, even though I have uploaded this to the workshop um, a couple of episodes ago when I built it, it will be this version. Okay, so uh, so if you if you a week ago 
and you're seeing this and haven't seen this then Energy low. just act surprised <laughs> um yeah because what you'll see because i'm a few weeks uh yeah a few weeks ahead on my recording so um yeah two weeks two weeks ahead right okay so uh enough of that waffling on um what are we up to today so what i want to do is i thought about doing the um hanger for the flyer because it's just been parked outside for such a long time needs a home but i'm not going to do that today well i might do that today who knows uh but what i do want to do today is uh i think it's time to do the proper habitation uh room so we're going to do that over here um i don't know how that's going to work just uh, let me recharge right um that is just to run the lcds so that's just temporary all these are just temporary because yeah we'll need a bit of a control room in here so we can um, manage things um yeah so i don't know how this is gonna work well i do know how it's gonna work from the outside i just don't know how the layout's gonna go so what i want to do is um yeah, I'm going to have some blocks going up this way, windows, and then some straight ones, and then some going back the other way. So it's going to be at least six high. Do I make it higher than that? Yeah, I probably will actually. Hmm, okay. Let's, uh, let's grab some steel and start to lay out some stuff. I think I just should grab a whole lot, to be honest. Alright. So. Am I happy with where that walkway's come to? Yeah. No, no, I'm not. Uh, stand by. All right, so that's uh, that's all laid out. So we've got the corridor down here. Um, now I think I've just made a bit of an error there because I can't get at that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> right, problem solved. Okay, so now um, how am I going to do this? So. Yes, how indeed. Alright. What I think I'm going to want to do is... Put those in there. And then... Yeah, this this will be the floor level. So we'll put some concrete across there. It'll do for now. And just some underneath as well right and then hmm that wants to be steel okay yep now now i know what i'm doing now i know now i know right so that goes that color uh, we'll weld you up because we'll cover you up you too. Then what we want to do is grab some of this that will do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This will this will work. So that one, that one. Right, and then. That out so this is just sort of repeating the um the style like these beams but then there will be glass in the middle so let's just uh, continue that now i'll put some glass in 
Uh, window. So. That's that's not behaving. There we go. All right. So yeah, because I want to sort of overlook stuff. That's that's the idea there. And then if we go for that one, come on, you can do it. There we go. Like so. And maybe we'll just finish these off. Like so. Yeah. Yeah, this will work. And then we need the little half block like that. Let's say this the, the outside I've got an idea of what I'm doing, but the inside I still don't actually have a clue. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, um, let's get some of those blocks like so. Uh, that's probably a half block there. Yeah, okay. We'll just put filler. Oh, they might not stay, but I'll just put them in there like that. And then go back to our windows. So, yeah. So that's that's sort of look. And then we can put those ones up there like that cool cool so um do i make it longer Uh, montage time leave this with me and uh yeah we'll see see what happens i don't know
Alrighty, so here we go. Uh, it's come out pretty well. Pretty happy with it. So it did take a while. Uh, it took about an hour. Probably, and then it took an additional half an hour to find out where it was leaking. <laughs> and then uh, I've just mucked around with this as well, changing the sort of layout on this end, which, yeah, I think still works for me. It's just the angles aren't quite right, but yeah, that's okay. Because this was where it was coming out just wasn't sitting right with me because it was down here going into here and if I want to put another yeah if I want to put another sort of room in which I'm thinking command room or a separate laboratory medical type room if I'm going to do that and I think command because then I can sort of have one up something a bit raised like a like an aircraft uh, an airfield tower type situation where I can actually look over everything that's going on I think that might be quite cool um, but yeah, if I wanted to do that, I really needed the walkway to come out at a better level, so, yeah. I don't think that's going to be just a standalone airlock. I do need better access to this rather than going through over there, but what I might do is actually put in an airlock down here, and it would mean going up a few flights of stairs, but there is room in there, so I just need to work around that vent, and yeah, anyway. And that could link up with these walkways that could come around. Yeah, so that's uh, something not to do right now, but let's go inside and have a look. Because, yeah, as I say, I'm pretty happy with the space in there. Um, pretty stock standard sort of um, aesthetic layout, theme, whatever you want to call it, architecture. Uh, this isn't my sort of preference, These um, how these are looking. So we'll come in here, pressurized, woohoo. So yeah, these sort of beams like this, I mean, I like them. I like them, they look real cool, but it's kind of something that's just evolved in this build and I've kept it because I want to keep it. <laughs> um, no, because, you know, to keep a theme and link it all up. Now, when I go to Mars, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to keep the same architecture. I'm not a one-trick pony. Uh, but, yeah, just to keep the commonality between all my builds on Hyphestus Prime, I think this just links everything up quite nicely, so... Uh, yeah, you know it's the same architect, same uh, faction. So in here, yeah, we've got our got our um, vents. Now where it was leaking was up in this block here, and I assume the bottom one as well, because uh, it did have a like a, a slope piece, which still got in the middle, and that doesn't leak. So I think the issue is not with the slope piece. I think it's with the slope that's on the other side. So down down here on the other side, it's just some sloped. Uh, steel, the blue stuff which even though it's surface on surface, you know, it's not as though it's like here where two corners meet it is, you know, it's a it's a proper surface, but nah, it just doesn't hold the air, so that's a shame but we worked around it and also these ones just don't quite look right with the ledge outside uh, so that this is no longer recessed but I did start off with some slopes but they just don't seem to be airtight Never mind, never mind. Yes, I don't think they are. Maybe we should test that. So I'll just uh, depressurize that. And depressurize that. And then we'll go up here and we'll just find one of these out. I only need to do one. Pretty sure. So, are we airtight? Oh, uh, maybe. Okay. Right. Stand by. There we go. So that's um, that's looking better. Okay. So, I guess I should have checked that. Um, oh, live and learn. I just assumed that they that these edges didn't link up, but uh, clearly they do. Very good. Alright, so, now I need to work on in here. 
so, 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 yeah, um, so even though I've got the med bay in here, I don't think I'm going to make a section of this medical room. I did consider about having a mezzanine type floor here and blocking this off. I'm just not sure if I can really do it with the windows. No, no. Okay, what I'll we'll do is we'll grab some steel. Now, if we go in here, this is all looking pretty healthy. 10k of steel. Before I came back, I got a whole lot of stuff because we were right down on the power consumption. So I turned the reactor on for 15 minutes. And while that was charging the batteries, I also got the assembler going and did another 6,000 steel plates. So that's how many steel plates this room has taken. Uh, another couple of thousand of these, couple of thousand of those glass you know I went through the entire 3,000 I think it was so this has used up a lot of resource a lot of resource um, but not unexpectedly but there's plenty more resource out there where this came from anyway so 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 what I'll do is just put the concrete in so to start with what I want to do is yeah, if I put that in there, and then go to these new blocks. Yeah, do I want to angle it? I will, but not just yet. So I might just do a couple, a couple of those, and yeah, then I might just start sort of angling it from here. So in order to do that, need that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and yeah, we'll have to do something when we get to that block. We'll let future Wellington deal with that. So I've got those there. Okay, so that's sort of a little bit of mezzanine. Stairs here. What I might do is, I mean that's quite a nice space under here, so I'll have a bit of a think about what's going to go in there. But what I'll do is, I'll just weld some of this up just to get rid of the steel out of my inventory. And we're going to put it back in the container. Did I want to steal? Ah, oh, sorry. Weld it there. It looks like I'm going to weld a whole lot of this up. Hmm, okay. So, uh, what we want is a whole lot of those parts. Now, so what I'm thinking is that this will come out from there. Okay, we'll put you there first. Like so. And then these across here for a bit of a skywalk. So you can look out those windows there. It comes nicely there. And here. We'll just put that on, that like that, and then the stairs will go into a wall. Alright, um, so with that in mind, they might have to go down here. It's a shame I can't use that space. Change plan. Change plan. So, if I... Oops. If 
I might put a light under there, just as a bit of an anchor. And then... Get these all the way down here. Yeah, I can put stairs in here then. Some there and some down there. Yeah. Yep, that's it. And then I can continue that down. Can I put it right to the wall? No, I won't. I'll um just uh sorry i'm muttering to myself here it's uh, not good to do it's when i start talking back that it'll be a bit of a concern yeah there we go yeah i think that'll work i think that'll work and i can even put an advertising screen up in here yeah okay all right uh, let me weld that up, and I'll just be uh, back in a sec. Energy low. All right, so may have just got a little bit carried away with my welding, but uh, never mind. Let's just put you in there. Um, so yeah, I put these signs in and stuff, so our little Cosmic coal, uh, cosmic Coffee Corner. And yeah, there's actually quite a few new signs. Um, there must have been some in the Warfare update or something like that. I don't... I don't know. Um, but yeah, there's a lot more signs in there than what there used to be, so that's really cool. That's real cool. Now, I have definitely attached that at the other end, so we will those so yeah so this is really sort of starting to come together i've hummed and hard about this and I'm gonna change things around let's just uh put some railings in uh, like that so what i'm probably going to do is because uh time has marched on it's uh, been a big day of building today and it's really hard for me to um, get the edit right on this sort of stuff you know I do the sped up montages they have their place um, but when it comes to sort of detailing this stuff it's really hit and miss you know I move things about two or three times you know I mean look at the, this walkway you know first it was there went down there and then I changed it down here and now third time I've put this platform in and I can tell you that this is the third version of this platform. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's not easy to figure this stuff out. I find it difficult anyway, trying to trying to get it all laid out. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Let's just get some more planters happening. Because um, I wanted to put one there. So that's that's a nice little. It's quite a busy little corner that. So that's cool. I, I don't think that is going to stay there. That's just temporary. I mean, being pink, it's temporary. You know that. But um, yeah, it's it's a cool skywalk along here. I, I mean, I got rid of these. I don't know whether I'm going to put anything in this gap, but I'll just leave that for now. Uh, and then yeah, that will be our exit um, to other things. So we can still put. I put that there and that there. Just uh, thinking that way up here. Then, because of the mount points, that can actually. Yeah, I'll still put it there. 
I don't actually need it. Because I'll put a... Um, Yeah, I'll put a seat here. So we'll go with that pillar. And yeah, so we can put one there and one there. So yeah, just a nice little um sort of uh observation type deck, you know, just a little one of those little alcoves like you get in office blocks you know they just have a little alcove for a little little place to sit down and have a coffee or something i think that looks all right maybe yeah it'll do it'll do right so i'm gonna continue on with this but we'll leave that there and hopefully next episode you can join me again and we'll see what's happening down here i might have a go at putting in that airlock i'm quite keen to do that down here which is probably me moving the sign oh, i've moved that twice yeah so just for the record uh yeah and i'm still not really too sure about this med bay here i think i think that's not going to stay there i think that's going that i'll do a laboratory somewhere else and just keep this for some um, food and stuff. But how's that for a view? I mean, that's um, that's pretty cool. That's why we're here. Hmm. All right. Thanks everybody for watching. Hope you did enjoy today, and uh, you can join me again next time. Stay safe out there, everybody. Have a good one.